back to Mario Superstar Baseball. We are moving on to a big carnivorous plant. They are number seven, which is one higher than they previously were. The highest someone put PD is four, and the lowest someone put PD was eight. So definitely a top eight character with all that knowledge. And let's talk about what he, this plant brings to the table outside of a diaper. So first of all, De Dennis gave a little confused face there. What was that? When was PD8 last year? I have no idea. Right? I, I don't even remember, honestly. I'd I'm thinking, I was like, I don't remember PD. But remember yeah, no, happened. I was the one who placed him at four, and some other people might have too. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit lower on PD than I am than I was, because just like, honestly, so two things. One, I think his singles bat is trending up, so that's good. I think that his singles bat is actually awesome, and uh, it's just a little small, but I think that he can, like, without charging, can land for a single a lot. Uh, his home run bat, although really strong, trending down. It's hard. It's really hard. I was trying all night to catch that ball because uh, I had PD almost every game, I think, and I didn't get a single homer. Almost every single one resulted on in and out. Um, he does play catcher really well, but catcher isn't always relevant. Sometimes it is, so it's nice, and he plays catcher better than any other character in the game. Uh, so that's huge, but... I don't think he really adds that much to your team unless you're in desperate need of a home run hitter. Just make sure you know how to do it. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think you're always in desperate need of a home run hitter. I, I think home run hitting is, is just uh, extremely powerful. And, uh, you know, it, there, there could come a meta where it's not, you know, a money ball meta. And uh, it might happen. But what PD does is hit home runs. Simple. I uh, I think Petey is the easiest to pitch to of all the power hitters. Agreed. Agreed. I think that because of the fact when you're charge swinging, you're susceptible to swinging and missing more because you're searching for that really good perfect contact, which for slap hitting, you're just trying to make contact with the ball. Um, and I think you have more reaction time with other of the power hitters. I think you have a lot less reaction time with Petey. That being said, um, I don't like the fact that if you pitch PD inside and the batter, you the batter, doesn't make the adjustment to move away from the plate, you are popping up every single time. I don't like also knowing as a hitter that if there's men on base, I essentially am not getting extra base hit unless I charge. That to me just doesn't resonate well with me. And the fact that he only plays catcher and we've been seeing a lot more of the perfect steals not really coming into factor with PD's throw to second... Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to say, again, you have bases loaded, you have star hitters up with stars, I'd rather pitch to the guy that's going to strike out or pop up in the infield. So for me, I'm going to go in reverse order. I'm going to sit down. Uh, I think another huge part that was mentioned, well, it wasn't mentioned, rather, is and that's because we're all gentlemen in the club, is that if you charge a swing with PD and you miss, that person could spam A yeah. and sneak a pitch right by you, mm -hmm. which could be very important yeah. if you're not playing with nice people. PD used to only get two strikes. <laughs> uh, I am going to say I like PD more than KB. I think it's easier to hit with him personally. Um, I like the single bat. I think the homers, once you learn them, are learnable and easy to do. Um, I don't know if we should go any higher, though. I'm going to say PD is right where he needs to be. Agree. I think this is a perfect spot for him. I think uh, I think PD would definitely be trending down, like Dennis says, if Moneyball comes into the meta. But I think unlike uh, the MLB, we have Birdo and Yoshi and, and Wario and Magikoopa. So I, I really don't know if Moneyball is going to be a viable strategy moving forward when the infield can be much more oppressive than actual baseball. So I'm going to hit you with the, the trending up. I, I almost forgot for a sec. All right, so down two neutrals and an up. That's interesting. Well, that was our deep dive into PD. He doesn't do much, sadly. He's just a big, just stupid plan who rips dings. So uh, we're getting into the real nitty-gritty of this game. Stay tuned. We got really convoluted characters that have a lot to talk about coming up. So you might be seeing some longer videos. So uh, buckle up. It's showtime. We're moving on. Bye. Yeehaw. <laughs> And if you want to get more information on this great game, come over to the Discord. Literally any question you have about this game could be answered by any of those guys in a second. They'll answer you literally right away. It might even be me. So the link is down below in the description. And also, we just recently started a Patreon. As of right now, there are no rewards for becoming a patron. We're currently brainstorming things that a patron would do. But um, we really like bringing you all this content. 
Uh, I mean, we put out a video every single day. We really love bringing you this content, and we want the quality of our content to be even better. So we started the Patreon as a way for you guys to chip in and donate so we can upgrade our equipment between controllers, recording equipment, whatever, because we're going off of literally stuff I own, and <laughs> I pay rent and I have student loans, so it's not the best. But uh, we'd love to uh, update all that stuff for you. So if you want to join the Patreon, uh, the name is right here somewhere, and uh, it'll be in the description as well. So thank you so much, um, and... Some sort of rewards for patrons will be coming eventually, so thank you so much. And I want to give a quick shout out to the first three people who subscribe to our Patreon, Connor Nace, Jake Winnens, and Blake Dubty. That's awesome, guys. I literally made the Patreon today, and ten minutes in, we already had two patrons, and then Blake joined later. So, like, thank you so much. Uh, and I, I'm planning on shouting out our patrons at the end of any produced video. A lot of the games don't go through anything like any production they just go straight from the recording setup to youtube anything produced will have the patrons names at the end of the video so thank you so much for being our patrons and uh catch you next time